Hola! Hi, it's Tuesday. You watch your Tasty Tuesday show where it's Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. We got our old lens today, and I put this aisle like this, so it's like our old kitchen width. I basically just got a bigger kitchen so I could make it look exactly like the old kitchen with different colors. A lot of you said uh, you missed the old way things were. I tried to get fancy with the a better lens, a bigger kitchen. Forget it, okay? Forget it. The only thing that I am keeping is probably the audio. I put a towel down today, but I still think there's an echo. I don't know what to do about it. I shut these doors. So, a couple weeks ago, I know we already made ice cream, but I would be lying to you if I told you that that wasn't the only thing I wanted to consume right now. That and alcohol, which I also found a recipe for ice cream made with alcohol. And we're gonna make that today too. Don't you worry, your sweet little pants. We're gonna do it all one day. Counter's still not here. Can't have it all at the same time. So, I'm gonna show you how to do ice cream three ways because a lot of you said you didn't have an ice cream maker. Totally get that. I probably wouldn't have one either if I didn't have a wedding. It was always on my wish list as a kid, but people don't get it for you unless you get married. It's really the only reason I got married. I've never made these ice cream recipes before. I hope they work. They look really tasty. Didn't know this though. They all take like six to eight hours to prep. So if you have to be, I don't know, out of the country tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m., then maybe you should have read the recipe instructions beforehand. Guess we're gonna prep it all and then finish it a different day. Hey, what? One day we'll have our shit together. One day. Let's make some ice cream. Okay, step one. Oh, the first ice cream we're gonna make is a whiskey hazelnut no churn ice cream. So you do not need an ice cream maker for this ice cream recipe. To make this recipe, we're gonna preheat our oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Wait, our oven? Yeah, our oven. What, we need an oven for this? Next, we're gonna take this and foil, put it on the baking sheet. Then we're gonna take a cup of hazelnuts, raw hazelnuts. I got these at Trader Joe's. I don't think I've ever made anything with hazelnuts before. Wow. Okay, how much did I say? One cup. Oh, excuse you. Okay, one cup and an extra nut. Woo, get crazy. Get crazel nuts. <laughs> Just like the old kitchen. So I guess just wait for your oven to heat up. So I, I, just, I thought ice cream would be more refrigerator and freezer oriented, but nope, nope. Okay, our oven is ready. So we're gonna put these in there uh, for 10 minutes until our nuts are fragrant and brown. Mmm, just like I like them. Fragrant nuts. 10 minutes, see then. It's been 10 minutes, are our nuts ready? I don't know, I don't smell shit. Yo, are you fragrant? Oh yeah, I guess they smell like nuts. I'm taking these out. First, let's turn our oven off. Responsible. Now it says to transfer your nuts over to a clean dish towel. Aha, yep. Can I touch you? I have consent. I just want your nuts. Yes. Yes. So skilled. You thought I was gonna drop those, didn't you? You're wrong. You lose. So now we're just gonna cool our nuts. All right, everybody's gotta cool their nuts and we're gonna move on to the next thing while that's happening. Can we cook a dish with nuts in it without making juvenile jokes? I don't think it's possible. While our nuts are getting cooled, we're gonna put these things into a blender. Oh my God, a blender almost went topless. Blender gone wild. <laughs> we are going to put one and a half cups of raw cashews that have been soaked and then have been rinsed and drained. Oh, that was a lot of steps that I didn't show you. Cashew outside, how about that? <laughs> one and a half cups of coconut cream. If you can't find a can of coconut cream, you can just use full fat coconut milk that has the hardened stuff on top. Just scoop that hard stuff out. That is cream. We're gonna add the cream to our nuts. I won't. I'm not gonna do it. Oh my God, what? What? Tell me this happens to other people. Like coconut cream, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, I got creamed on the face. Money shot. You're better than most, Nikki. Three-fourths cup of maple syrup. What problems are we gonna have with you, huh? Probably that we don't have enough maple syrup. No, please. What? Why is three-fourths so much? Oh my gosh, this is so much. This is like my whole bottle of maple syrup. Make sure you have a full bottle of maple syrup. That's like my whole bottle. What? Too much syrup. P.S. Speaking of syrup, is IHOP really gonna be the house of burgers now? Pancakes is so much better. I don't get it. Maybe I just don't understand marketing. Clearly not. I'm terrible with clickbait. A fourth a cup of whiskey or bourbon. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby. A whiskey it would go faster. The recipe. One tablespoon vanilla extract. Damn, a tablespoon is a lot of vanilla extract too. Holy Jesus. And a fourth a teaspoon salt. All right, that's it. And now we're gonna blend on high. <laughs> So far, how's it going over there? Just says to do this until everything is light and airy. Is that light and airy? How do I know? Are you light and airy? There's a lot of bubbles. Mmm, that smells like alcohol. <laughs> I'm into you. Let me do a little bit longer. 
this seem airy to you? Oh god damn, that's good. Oh wow. It tastes like crispy caramel. Texture wise, it's not crispy, but it tastes like, you know when caramel gets that crisp on it? Oh my goodness, this is so good. Oh, why does ice cream have to take six hours? Oh my god. Eh. I'm out of wine, but I'm not out of wine. In case you wanted some. You don't? Okay. So this is our ice cream base, and we're just gonna put it into a freezer safe container. Hopefully this is big enough. I didn't really measure it before because oh my gosh, I'm so perfect. And we're gonna put it into, do you know where we're putting it? One guess, you get one. Yes, the freezer, you got it. I do kind of look like an older Dora the Explorer. Like after she moves to LA and gets really jaded lifestyle and loses all her hopes and dreams and starts drinking a lot. Hola! Gracias! Bueno! All right, we're gonna leave that in there while we do this to our nuts. Once nuts are fully cooled off, I think they're pretty cool. Let me just feel them a little bit longer. Make this as uncomfortable as possible because this is Tasty Tuesday. Anyway, we're gonna rub our nuts with a dish towel because they like it like that. And we're gonna try to get all of the like outer skin off of it. It doesn't all have to come off, but just try to get as much as possible. Come off! Okay, I feel like we should have baked our nuts a little bit longer, but that's okay. We're all fine. Now we're just gonna give our nuts a rough chop. Chop to the nuts, I said it, I'm sorry. I don't have anything else. Like barely any of this skin came off though. Is that okay? I don't have time, I think it's fine. I don't know who's having a rougher time, me or the nuts. I wish I could cut things better, but I just don't have the chops. All right, let's move on. Now that our nuts are chopped, we're gonna take our ice cream mixture that we had sitting in the freezer and we're just gonna add our nuts to it. Put them in here. I bet this ice cream would be good without the nuts even, but we're just gonna do the recipe as is. This just seems like a lot of nuts. And we're just gonna stir it in with a spoon. Very fancy spoon, because we're very fancy. Wowie, wow, wow. This is getting a little nuts. It's not even clever. Okay. This flavor seems very promising. We're gonna put it in the freezer for six hours. It's best if you can stir it every hour. I can't though, because I have to sleep. But, you know, if you can, do it. Or if you have an ice cream maker, you can just put it in your ice cream maker and it will literally be done in like 30 minutes. But hey, no ice cream maker? Six hours, stir it every hour. Cool, okay. So this next way we're gonna make ice cream is with an ice cream maker, AKA the correct way, but not hating. But you know, get an ice cream maker, what do you do? This ice cream with the ice cream maker is a cinnamon toast ice cream from Minimalist Baker. I'm excited. I like her recipes. Hopefully it'll be tasty. To make this, we're gonna grab a saucepan. What are you still doing here? We're gonna turn our stove on to medium heat. And to our saucepan, we're gonna add two cans of full fat coconut milk. Also, at any point, if you like have a coconut allergy or you just don't like coconut milk, you can use heavy cream instead. This is the dairy-free version of things. So do what you will. I don't know your life, but I can tell you that I can consume so much more ice cream when it's coconut. Two cans! Did I say that? To our coconut milk, we're gonna add a half a cup of raw sugar. Just like I like it. Raw. And we're gonna stir this all together and we're gonna bring it to a boil. Ice cream. Who knew you had to use so much heat to make something so cold? All right, I'll just see you when this is boiling. Wow, ice cream takes forever. Okay, yay! Our cream mixture is finally boiling. Too much, actually. Stop boiling so much. So we're going to whisk it for another two to three minutes. Yep, yep. The good things in life are worth waiting for, I've been told. Are you gonna seriously overflow this saucepan? What the fuck? Stop, stop. Oh my gosh. I'm turning this heat down and down and down. Thank you. See you in two to three minutes. Okay, it's been two to three minutes. First, we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna remove our mixture from the heat. Done. To our mixture, we're gonna add one teaspoon of what the recipe says should be quality vanilla extract. So I have Kroger brand, extreme quality. Half a teaspoon cinnamon. It's been a cinnamon minute since we started making this ice cream. Also, a pinch of xanthan gum. Oh my gosh, optional. If you don't have it and you're like, what the hell is that? Don't worry about it. But those of us in the know, a pinch. Great. Xanthan Xanthan gum, more like xanthan come on already. Ugh. I don't know, I got nothing. It's been a while. All right, and we're just gonna whisk this to combine. Are you having fun? Is this fun? Okay, once everything's all whisked in and combined, we're gonna take a glass bowl and transfer the mixture into it. You think I'm not drinking this week because glass doesn't really survive around me drunk. You're welcome. You are spared for the night, my friend. Oh, and then I guess I'll just take this foil that our nuts were roasting on earlier and cover that all up. Very cool. I'm having fun. Ice cream, be ice cream already. 
Okay, god damn it. Okay, we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for six to eight hours. Blah! Or overnight, you know, because that, we don't have many choices when you start filming at night. We might as well stir our old friend in the freezer. How are you doing? Are you ice cream yet? No? All right, well, you take your dear sweet fucking time. I'm making friends. Putting this back in the freezer. All right, guys. So most of these recipes are the prep work, and that is what we just did. The rest is cake or ice cream. It's a piece of ice cream. I don't know. We're it's a late night right now. This clock is inaccurate. It's not that time. I'd love to tell you that we're gonna finish this in the morning, but I'm leaving to Mexico tomorrow morning at 6:30 a.m. So I'll see you in a couple days, and I'll probably be a lot more tan. Bye. Buenas noches, everybody. I just got off a plane from Mexico and I have an abnormal amount of tequila in me bodies. But we have some ice cream to finish. So finished ice cream is what we shall do. Let's take a look at the damage. Hello, are you still beautiful? Not really, I'm <laughs> gonna be honest. But maybe it'll get better. Muy bueno? Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh no. So the top of my coconut milk hardened, but you know, hopefully this doesn't happen to you. Hopefully when you make it at home, you make it the next day after it's only been chilled for a few hours. Hey, stop being sad. Muy bueno. Come on, muy bueno. I don't think it speaks very good Spanish. I think the whole point of heating it was probably to make it not be like this, but hey, this is what we're working with. I'm just gonna throw it in the blender really quick and see if that does anything. And if not, you know what? I'm gonna eat the ice cream. Still tastes muy bueno. So for the cinnamon toast ice cream that had been chilling in the fridge, we we're gonna put it into our ice cream maker. This is for the people that have ice cream makers. If you don't have ice cream maker, skip past this step. Go to the other ice creams. It's not for you. So I think we just pour it in here. And this part goes like this. And then we're gonna turn our ice cream maker on. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it seems incorrect. Are you correct? No answer. Rude. Okay, there's a big chunk of ice on the bottom of my ice cream maker. Hopefully this doesn't happen to you. This is not part of the recipe. How do I get this chunk of ice off the bottom of here? You know what? Fuck it. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I think it still works. So that's gonna do its thing. It's gonna be in there for like 35 minutes. I know, we have to wait, wait longer for the ice cream. While it's being made, we're gonna make our third and final ice cream. This is for people who don't have an ice cream maker. Don't you worry your pretty little goddamn face. We're gonna make this happen for you. Frozen bananas, did you guess it? Some people call it nice cream. And we're gonna make some pina colada nice cream today. Get fucking ready, are you pumped? I'll wait. All right, let's do this. So this needs to have a recipe that goes with it. Pretty sure it's blend the frozen bananas with a little bit of coconut cream and frozen pineapple, but let me just check. So for this frozen banana recipe, you're gonna need two frozen bananas. This is about four, I think, in here. You want them to be overripe, no green on your bananas. You want them to have like baby brown spots even. I know you don't love that idea, but it makes really good ice cream. So two bananas, we're gonna toss them in our blender. I mean, don't toss them. Just place, oh, or toss them, you know. Bananas, <laughs> with a little bananas when I didn't want to toss them. Okay, you happy? Next, we're gonna add a quarter cup of coconut milk. Again, you can use other milk if you want, but I'm using coconut milk. It's a pina colada ice cream, so there's, you need the colada part, or it's a pina colada coconut. You don't want it. Oh, I forgot to shake it. Damn it. You should always shake your coconut milk. I've been in Mexico for a, a long time. My brain is not working. All right, this coconut milk is gonna be stirred, not shaken. James Bond would be so disappointed, but we ain't James Bond today. Excuse me. Hey, stop it. And lastly, but not leastly, in our pina colada ice cream we're gonna do half a cup of frozen pineapple chunks. These have been in my fridge for longer than I've lived in this house, so they're really bad. Wow, couldn't have asked for worse chunks of pineapple. Why did I keep these? At least I got some tequila in me. You might be okay. Have a cup. Now we're just gonna blend that until it becomes a consistency of soft serve ice cream. Just a lot of noise. We just want more coconut milk. Is that good enough? Do you love me yet? Ooh, baby. That's pretty good. What else I forgot? A pinch of salt. Muy bueno. So the trick to this one is you don't want it to become a smoothie. You want it to stay soft serve level consistency. So we're gonna take this now and we're gonna scoop it out into a freezer safe dish and we're gonna let it chill for a little bit with our other cousin over there, with its sexy cousin, to make the consistently, uh, consistently, yep, a little bit harder, smoother, harder. 
I swear I'm not trying to be annoying. Harder. All right, get in there. All right, so then we got our third ice cream is in the freezer now. And we're gonna make a little bit of cinnamon and sugar using cinnamon and sugar. Did you guess? Whoa, weird. So we're just gonna mix a little bit of sugar. Got some organic cane sugar, like a high maintenance hoe. I don't know, I did like that much. You know, not too much. We don't wanna be crazy. Probably like a third of that amount in cinnamon. But I'm just gonna mix it with my finger. That's the professional way to do things and the show is very professional and we're very serious all the time and we're very serious about our food. And then it looks like that. Cinnamon sugar. Boom. Did it, bitches. You're not a bitch. I'm so sorry you're not a bitch. Oh, that's almost done. I'll see you sooner than I thought I would. See you when this is done and um, then the competition shall begin. Once our ice cream and our ice cream maker is almost finished, which it is almost finished, we're gonna take a piece of toast that we grated. Mine didn't really grate very well. It just kind of fell into soft chunks. So I'm just gonna take the crumbs from that and we're gonna throw them in there. Maybe my ice cream is done. It's not even being moved. Sorry, I need more beat poetry in here. And also a tablespoon of our cinnamon sugar mixture. Maybe I should just mix it myself. Okay, you're done. I'm gonna mix it myself. So I should have done this part sooner, but it's okay. It still looks, oh my gosh, you look muy bueno, muy bonita. All the muis. I thought my ice cream machine was gonna stop when it was done, but it didn't. So I'm stirring in the cinnamon sugar myself and also the toast flex. Well, we have to do that again, basically, because we were supposed to do this spaced out. But anyway, we didn't do it. I blame you. So now we're just gonna take our ice cream, which is delicious. It looks and tastes delicious. Um, no spoilers, you know what? Stop trying to spoil this for everybody. I'm gonna transfer it to a freezer safe dish. This is the most ice cream feeling one that I've seen and probably cause it's done with the machine, but you know, we're not gonna judge yet. Oh, so good. Look how amazing that looks. Okay, but don't look too long. Now we're just gonna take another tablespoon of our cinnamon sugar mixture and we're gonna mix it in with a knife so it looks all swirled in like a beautiful cover of Pinterest. Does Pinterest have a cover? We don't need to know. Also, I don't wanna get a knife out. So this is my kitchen and that's how we do things. So I'm just gonna swirl it in with a spoon. Boom, bitches, how about that? I'm so sorry, you know what Sorry. Oh, chinga su madre. I learned that in Mexico. So this one is pretty much done. You can serve it like this, or you could let it harden a little bit more. We're not gonna do that. We want to taste these ice creams immediately. We have waited long enough, long enough, and it's not right. So we have our whiskey hazelnut ice cream, which I haven't seen since I left for Mexico. Are you beautiful? It's very frozen. Okay, I'm gonna let that one thaw for 10 to 15 minutes, and then the competition will begin. Let's see, in this corner, we have the cinnamon toast ice cream. And this corner, we have the whiskey hazelnut, which has had the most time to freeze, so that's nice. And we're gonna see which one tastes best. Stay tuned. I have prepared for you three different flavors of ice creams prepared completely different ways. It's almost like comparing apples to oranges, but it's comparing ice creams to ice cream. Okay. You're gonna wanna start with this one because it's the most melty, it was just prepared, and it is a pina colada ice cream. Oh snap. No churn. Oh shit. Really good. Yeah? yeah? Contestant one. Wow, contestant one is killing the game so far. I didn't want to try anything else. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm chill. This is a turn. The no. other contestants, I really would like you to try them though. No, they, they competed really hard. They're here to play. They're ready to win. Contestant number two is a cinnamon toast ice Ooh, cream. Ooh, I like cinnamon oh, toast. Yeah, that's I know my favorite you do. Sir, you know that. I know you do. Oh, damn. Yeah. Wow, that's very good. What's it seeming like now? What's, what's the competition like now? I still like that a little bit better, but wow. this is really good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is there a lot of this shit or just Yes. Little, okay, good. Fucking good, dude. <laughs> So chill, chill a little bit, chill. I don't want to play your pun game, but I will actually because it's so good. Okay, this is a whiskey hazelnut ice cream prepared a completely different way with no ice cream maker. How are all these so fucking good? What is wow, I really thought you were gonna say that was by your face. I thought you were gonna say that was not good. No, I'm just confused. Wow. These are all like- three. This is all incredible. Yes? Yeah, it's good. Huh? This is the best Tasty Tuesday ever. <laughs> what the heck? Come back from Mexico, you get wow. all kinds of surprises. A super tired wife, really bomb tasting ice cream. So tired. And a belly full of tequila. Well, this is good. Hell yeah, so they're tasty. They're all tasty. <laughs> drum roll. I might one? like this one the best. Second. Wow, that was not built up at all. Yeah, I was sorry. drum rolling. <laughs> Damn. Oh, sorry, dude. Okay. <laughs> All right. That happens to me sometimes. Contestant number three is the winner. And this is without an ice cream maker. No churn necessary. Dude. Just a lot of waiting in a freezer. Ice cream makers is hype. Damn. So good. Let me, well, I haven't tried this one, actually. I tried the other two. Oh, try it. Hold down. It's really different. Mm-hmm. The whiskey really comes through. Yeah, really. After it's frozen. Dang. 
I'm gonna have to say my favorite is uh, contestant number two, mm. the cinnamon toast. I get it. But this is really good. This is very rich. Two is more of a personal preference because you like that taste. Mm -hmm. I do too. Damn, this is good. And what about number one? This is just so different. Number one? Number one is damn good too. Number man. one is prepared completely with bananas and it gets more frozen, but we didn't really have time. There's all the jazz hell up in here, dude. I'm like blown away right now. All right, what a successful Tasty Tuesday. It's muy bueno. It's muy bueno. Split this thing into three pieces, man. They don't deserve all this in one video. You don't deserve it. Well, you got you it. You don't deserve it. Okay, okay. You, you might have it, but you don't deserve really it. Aggressive. You should be paying for it. Okay. To that. We love you. Please subscribe should so you don't miss any of this. You should pay a premium for this I, shit. And, yep. And, and I will see you next time. Wow. Bye.